Hey guys, thank you for being a subscriber to the Zoo Media Network. And I'm here tonight to talk to you about the very first and premier episode of The Binge Report. So what's The Binge Report? Well, it's going to mostly be about Netflix shows, but basically anything that you can binge watch, we're going to talk about it. And I'm going to give you some suggestions for things that I've watched and that I've enjoyed First thing I wanted to mention was that there's some new shows coming out in January on Netflix that you are definitely going to want to watch. On the fourth season of Frankie and Grace, or Grace and Frankie, I'm not sure which way it is called, is coming out. Um, there's also the second half of the first season of Disjointed, very, very funny show about medical marijuana dispensary. Uh, it's something you're going to want to watch. Um, and those two are, are my recommendations for, for new things to watch in January. Now, here's some great shows that you can that you could binge watch and that I have binge watched and really enjoyed. One of them is uh, How I Met Your Mother. It's a super funny show. It keeps you interested the entire length of the series. Uh, it had a lot of seasons, and each season has a lot of episodes. So it's... One of those things where it's a time investment, but you're binge watching, right? So you're just going to plow through these things as fast as possible. Uh, another show is called That 70s Show. Super hilarious show. Um, really enjoyable. Uh, you got to watch for Red and for Kitty. Um, Eric, Donna, Hyde. They're funny characters. And what happens, like with any TV show, you get really interested in what they have to say and do and the weird predicaments they get into and things of that nature. Then another great show to watch, and it's one of those shows you could watch over and over again, is called Parenthood. And it's a it's a predictable show, but it's about a family and you know, they're very close knit and you know, there's there's four siblings and they all have kids and um, various situations going on and the grandma and the grandpa are always involved and um, family comes first with these guys um, there's even an episode where one of the main characters gets in trouble with his boss because every time the boss turns around one of his family members is there dealing with some family issue so Parenthood it's a great show um, it has six seasons it really the only problem with the last season is that it, it kind of, I think they found out that it was the end of the season the series and they wanted to wrap up some storylines. So they kind of rapidly accelerated through some things that had they had another season or two, they could have taken their time to develop. But honestly, unlike How I Met Your Mother, which quite frankly ruined the entire series with the very last episode, um, unlike that, this show doesn't do that. It it stays true to, to its theme throughout, even to the bitter end, uh, and it's something you should watch. It's definitely something you should put on your watch list. Now, another thing that I like to binge watch, and it's it's on Hulu, is uh, Law & Order um, Special Victims Unit. It's got so many seasons. And the problem with it, though, is that because it's a formula show where, you know, first this happens, then this happens, then this happens, then this happens, you can only watch so many in a row before you want to fall asleep. Now, you might not be like that, in which case you can watch 25 of them in a row. Nobody cares. I could get four, maybe, and then I had to stop and do something different. Um, I su strongly suggest that show, though. Uh, another one that you could go back and binge watch is uh, fresh off the boat definitely something to pay attention to but let me talk to you back again about parenthood because that's the most recent one that we finished uh it's about the bravermans and they live in berkeley california so they're a little interesting in that respect um they embrace the society that they live in they're all kind of you know busy doing work uh, they live up there in the Bay Area, so technology has some play in this. There's a lawyer. Uh, there's a recording studio group. It's all very interesting in the way the stories play out and the way the kids learn to interact with one another because all four siblings 
each of them have kids and then those kids you know they get along sometimes they don't get along there's one character in there who has Asperger's and then, then a second one comes along that has Asperger's it's just one of those shows that it tugs at the heartstrings sometimes it makes you laugh other times uh, overall just a high quality show that everyone should consider watching it's one of those things that you you start it and you wonder like why am I watching this um, what it, I can predict everything that happens but in the end it's great because there's a few things that they throw you curveballs on that perhaps you weren't expecting um, and so this kind of offset the obvious oh this is gonna happen type moment it just it's not as big of a deal because of that so in this episode of the binge report I want to recommend to you with it's a five-star system I'm gonna give it all five stars to parenthood get in there watch all six seasons it's not a huge investment uh, I think there's like hundred and twenty ish episodes and you'll get through that rather rapidly so no fear just get in there deal with it I think you're gonna love it um, and that's that's it for the binge report uh, this time I'll see you again for the next binge report and once again thank you for being a subscriber to the Zoo Media Network.